Hello everybody, this is Skyflight44, aka Zect44, and today I'm going to be playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. So, I've been making, un I've been doing some more deck building, and I've made myself a nice, lovely deck in the Princess of the Black Garden. Now, this one is a strange deck that is basically a deck that aims to continuously reborn a bunch of high level uh, plant type monsters while also going under black garden and the world tree to basically control the game now the big thing is with um there's a lot of ways of getting into really strong uh, plant type monsters with the big ones being fallen angel of the roses and queen angel of the roses fallen angel of the roses you can special summon this card by returning one plant type monster you control to the hand except fallen angel of the roses but banish it when it leaves the field this gets us into an easy level seven as well as queen angel of the roses which can be tribute summon this card and face up uh attack position by tributing one plant type monster once per turn you during your standby phase destroy the one face up monster in the field that has the lowest attack your choice if tied this is also something that is really easy to go about doing and is also very useful because destroying uh, the monster field that has the lowest attack is very useful on your turn. It could very well be Queen Angel of the Roses. And with Revival Rose, if a level 5 or higher plant type monster you control is destroyed, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. And it and you can still uh, gain more, more field presence. Or if under Black Garden, you're most likely going to have some kind of plant token around that this can go about destroying i'll explain exactly why that's a good thing later we have giga plant giga plant is the normal uh the gemini monster you ever going to go about using where it can go about once its effect goes off special summoning a plant type monster from your hand or graveyard also says insect but nobody really has ever used it for that Lone Fire Blossom being able to tribute itself and get into a plant type monster from your deck. Lord Poison, destroyed by battle, gets you a plant type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Um, and Rose Lover, you can banish this card from the graveyard, special summon one plant type monster from your hand, and if you do, it's unaffected by your opponent's trap effects this turn. You also have Rose Paladin. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can tribute this card, special summon one plant type monster from your hand or deck in defense position. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, add one level seven or higher plant type monster from your deck to your hand. Both of these are very good. And we can go about seeing exactly what kind of other monsters we can get. See, with these, we can easily get into either Giga Plant, uh, Queen Angel of Roses, Fallen Angel of Roses. We can also get Marina, Princess of Sunflowers, if exactly one other plant monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effects. Uh, and sent to the graveyard, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy that target. Or we can go about using uh, Talia, Princess of Cherry Blossoms, which gains 100 attack for each plant monster you control. Other plant monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. This can easily protect you from Queen Angel of the Roses. And we also have the big one. Uh, Titiano, Princess of uh, Camellias. When a card or effect is activated that targets a card on the field, quick effect, you contribute one face-up plant monster and negate the activation if you do destroy it. The big thing is a lot of these cards under Black Garden are incredibly powerful, especially the last one, which we can set. And after it's set, uh, we can just flip it up and it's going to be really powerful. But Black Garden, if a monster is normal or special summoned, face up, 
except by the effect of Black Garden, have its attack. Then the controller of that monster special summons one rose token to their opponent's field and attack position. Of this attack loss remains even if the card leaves the field. You can target one monster in your graveyard with attack equal to the total attack of all plant monsters on the field. Destroy this card and as many plant monsters on the field as possible. Then if you destroyed all of them, special summon that targeted monster. So we have um, outside of that, Fragrant Storm, which allows us to target one plant type monster on the field, destroy that target, and if you do, draw one card. And if that card is a plant type monster, you can reveal it and draw one more card. That can possibly draw us one or two cards while destroying our opponent's monster because we have both DNA surgery and Ivy Shackles, which force our opponent's monsters to become plant type. Um, we also have Seed Cannon, where each time a plant type monster is summoned, which also includes the tokens off of Black Garden. Uh, you can send this card to the graveyard to inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each plant counter on it, which can go up to 5. Terraforming to get into Black Garden. World Tree being the other major component of this. Each time a face-up plant-type monster on the field is destroyed, place one flower counter on this card. You can remove any number of flower counters from this card to activate these effects. One counter, target one plant-type monster on the field, that target gained uh, 400 attack and defense until the end of this turn. Two counters, target one card on the field, destroy that target. Three counters, target one plant-type monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. The second one, especially when our opponent's monsters are plant, basically allows us to spend two, gain one back. And then the Blossom Barbarment, when a plant type monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent uh, equal to the destroyed monster's attack in the graveyard. And the thing it I, I've not actually been able to use this yet, but it says inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's attack in the graveyard. Thus, it's not while it's on the field. Thus, it should not have its attack halved. I've yet to test that out, but that should be how it works in theory based upon the wording. And this deck is all about getting really powerful monsters onto the field, having plants be destroyed, which allows us to just, for the most part, gain a large loop and uh, special summoning and destroying stuff. It sounds like it could be a lot of fun. And the extra deck, we don't have any synchro monsters, which I was initially thinking about, until I realized that all of the uh it was going to be a little bit too difficult to get into sevens uh which the big reason why i want to go into sevens with like queen angel of the roses and fallen angel of the roses i can get into red eyes flare metal dragon see this cannot be destroyed by card effects well it has exceeds materials while this card has exceeds materials each time your opponent activates a card or effect Inflict 500 damage to your opponent immediately after it resolves. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Nixie's material from this card, then target one, I believe it's Red Eyes Normal Monster, special summon it to the field. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Well, this is just going to be a lot of fun. Let's try this out on a duelist challenge. I'm not completely convinced this is going to work very well. However... I still want to try it. Yeah, let's try this one. Amazonas versus Princess of the Black Garden. Now, I don't often make control decks, though this deck can hardly be considered not aggressive. 
but I definitely want to see how this is going to work. Okay, so I can summon Lord Poison. I already misplayed. Should have had Seed Cannon first. Then I can get out Fallen Angel of the Roses. Or one on that. We can go to next turn. Amazonas Village, that's fine. Okay. So. Let's summon Lord Poison. And from there, we can attack our opponent. And that's fine. Play out whatever you need to. Ah, DNA surgery. Now... I'm gonna go about summoning Queen Angel of the Roses. And I'm going to... Exceed summon... Red Eyes, Dark, Fla uh, Red Eyes, Flare, Metal Dragon. Yes, so they have so many names, just the same to me. Maybe we can go to End Phase. Now, any time our opponent activates stuff. We're going to be uh, burning them for 500. And even better, Black Garden. Still, let's go and attack. So Paladin comes out. It's a plant, so there's going to get a counter here. It's going to take 500. We're going to get a token, which is going to give us another one. And I can attack here. Let's go through, get rid of Sea Cannon to take 2,500 off. We can use Fragrant Storm. On Amazon's Tiger, we get IV Shackles. Uh, just in case, we can just go about using this one. And then we can go to end phase. At this point in time, there's not much our opponent has that they can do. We might as well just go through, put this back up. If our opponent destroys it while it's face up, we draw a card. Now, the thing is... What do I want to do? Well, we can actually go through and attack here. Five hundred. Another five hundred. We're going to gain Rose Token. Uh, we gonna take twelve hundred here, and then we're gonna add an attack there, which sucks. But the big thing is now we can get out. Now we can go about getting out uh, Talia. And we'll summon uh, another token over there. 
Okay, now we can go to end phase. Okay. Lord Poison. And I add one over here. We can put Lord Poison back into our hand. Summon Fallen Angel of Roses. Add another one over here. So we can attack you. Attack you. We can take out Amazonas Tiger. Gonna burn. We get a roast token. We can attack the roast token into there. Main phase two. We can go into end phase. And there's not much our opponent can go about doing. This is once again gonna burn him. And there's not much left that he can do. Yeah. Sadly. Okay, Seed Cannon. And now the game's over. Let's summon Lord Poison. So a Rose Token comes up. Let me go into... S. Attack. Another, another one's going to be summoned... Going to number one. Burn, add another token to four, and now we could just send that for 2,000 damage. Oh, that did better than I thought it would. Okay. Let's try that again. See if it's actually as good as what I think it is. With a completely different deck. Again, uh, that's even without World Tree. And now we have World Tree. Unfortunately, I didn't open with any way of getting a monster onto the field. But, next turn... Ooh, well, next turn, if he doesn't take out DNA surgery, I'm going to be able to just start taking out his cards. Because this is not a once per turn. Oh my god. Fragrant Storm. Yeah, we're going to be drawing another card. We can... Do I want to activate this? No. I'm going to go about summoning Rose Lover. Then we can attack. Anytime, uh, anytime a plant-type monster is destroyed, <laughs> both of these are going to be gaining... Up, which means I can easily start <laughs> shit. Oh my god, it's gonna be fun. Cosmic Fortress, uh, Golgar, okay. Ah, uh, I'm not liking that. That's actually pretty decent. Okay. Now, let's go...
Let's go and activate the effect of Rose Paladin. We are going to get... Fallen Angel of the Rose. Really wish there was a way of getting Revival Rose out of my hands. Hmm. Oh, Revival Rose. Send it back for Fallen Angel Roses. You can go to attack. Attack you. If I still had DNA surgery out, this would be a hell of a lot better. Uh, we can go to that. Thing is, I really have no idea how I'm going to be able to survive. If I somehow could get Revival Rose out of my hand, I could. Okay, let's get Rose Lover. I probably should have remembered that beforehand. We can draw another card. Another DNA surgery. Had I remembered that, I would have beat down both of my opponent's cards. Let's see if he can go about beating this. He can't go about sending anything back. He'd be completely foolish to attempt to go about sending this back. Okay. Well, there goes your... Uh, there goes your monster. Now, the only problem I have... Yeah, he still has Alien Kid. Yeah, he won. Let's try that again. I made a... I definitely made a mistake. Had I not made that mistake, we would actually probably have been in there. But, a, definitely a decent... Uh, Definitely was a decent idea. Okay, we can go through and have speed cannon. Hmm. Well, poison isn't exactly what I want. I could send... Rose Paladin to Grave to Yeah, I'm gonna send Rose Paladin to Grave. I'm gonna grab Fallen Angel of Roses. I'm going to Black Lord Poison. And then uh, get out Fallen Angel Rose. Let's see what he goes and ends up doing. Ooh, and the World Tree. A 
summon Lord Poison. Okay. That wasn't exactly the worst thing that ever happened to me. Attack in. And we can also go about uh, burning our opponent for 1800. Now, you can remove two... Oof. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Each time I face up, alien monster is destroyed. Place one uh, A counter on this card. Yep, yeah, let's... Um, you're just going to be able to get your alien warrior back. And then if you have anything else... I got a better idea. I already have one on here. Let's go and use Fragrant Storm. Uh, get rid of our Angel of Roses. We can draw two cards. And then using the World Tree, we can destroy Code A, Ancient Ruins. Okay, another alien war, fine, but you can't get into it. You can't get into a synchro with that. <laughs> Okay, Rose Lover, that's fine. Because I don't really know what I would prefer. I'm not going to be setting any of these, so... I kind of want to go about doing is if I go and get Rose Lover, attack with that, I'll take a thousand, I'll get one on here, I can go through, attempt to... That's just it. Only get into one flower counter. And I want to get C cannon off. The big thing. Big thing is if I would want to get Queen Angel of the Roses out first. I'm just going to go through Summon Rose Lover. I'm going to burn my opponent for 2,000. I'm going to go to end phase. Okay, so yeah, he's going to be going into what I thought. Likely. Yeah, into Golgar. Interesting. Yeah, that's lethal. Just barely lethal. Uh, no, I am not one to give up on this. You will succumb to this deck I made. Even though, to be honest, considering exactly what my opponent's deck's all about, about removing a, or putting back row back into my hand, that kind of doesn't do anything good for me. So terraforming, Black Garden... Let's go and get Black Garden out. I 
want to see my opponent actually start summoning stuff. Okay, alien shock trooper, that's fine. Not entirely happy that you can destroy it. What? I'm gonna set so you can't get a token. Yeah, that's nice. The thing is, this is going to go to 13. Even if he sends Black Garden back, it's gonna go 13. Perfectly fine. Then you're gonna summon something. Okay, so here's the fun part. Now I can get out Queen Angel of Roses. And we can get out Black Garden. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. I oh, won't. Well. I don't actually know which one I would want to do at this point in time. Just for the massive amount of attack points that isn't easily beaten. So... What are you going to do? Another offerings to Snake Deity? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that sucks, because I can't do that. Yeah, I guess I can't go... Yeah, it's one that targets a card. No, that doesn't target... Damn. Well, that sucks because Revival Rose was already. I don't know. Or got destroyed the same time my other monster got destroyed. I couldn't actually get that back. And the World Tree is not actually going to help me, so. Lost again. I like this deck. Not performing very well against this specific deck in particular. I think I might just try going second for the extra card. Really want to go first because, again, you already want to have your stuff set up. Especially Black Garden is what you want set up. Okay. Have you... And you... We can set you... But end phase. Okay. With that, Ivy Shackles should be able to do something. I don't think there's any Xyz aliens. 
So we can put you on. Oh, you are a Gemini monster. I'm easily going to destroy Alien Warrior. DNA surgery. Okay. So, Rose Lover. Getting out our lovely Talia Princess with Cherry Blossoms. Before this ever gets sent back, let's go about dealing 1600 more damage. Also, summon Revival Rose. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't. For a second, I thought I actually went through and uh, summoned that. Like, normal summoned that. Guess I didn't. Hey, World Tree. Thing is, I really wish I was able to. There's no way I can actually get to a point where I can send one of these revival roses away. I guess this is fine. I was just thinking if there was another mirror for us, then. I would have to go about suffering. And the thing is, I'm not very happy. In fact, I don't think, like, Mirror Force is going to add, like, one counter to this. Be it it's uh, monsters or monsters. So, it would only give me one. Uh, I would only be able to destroy a card, not special summon, like Talia. Uh... And I at least want a Revival Rose in the grave before that happens. Okay, yeah, that's it. The big thing is if you can get... If you can get some of those stronger uh, plant-type monsters and then get Black Garden out, you really set it. And let's see. Battle of the Vampire, Strike the Ninja. Let's see if this can actually work. One last time. The last time was a major, like, disadvantage. Just because of that one card could just send all of our back row back. But what now? I haven't made as I haven't made a vampire deck in a while. I really do like making vampire decks. <laughs> I'm gonna summon Lord Poison. And then I'm going to Fragrant Storm. Ah, World Tree. That's quite good. So we can flip DNA surgery. Or plant. This is going to make this even easier. Lavaval Chain. Okay, you're definitely uh, forbidden. Which is really, really just sad. Because this would be so good. If this was just like a... It needed like Pyro Monster or something. Uh, we can Fragrant Storm. 
Destroying you. Ooh, Black Garden. The only sucky thing is I'm not going to be able to do much of anything. Okay, we're going to Black Garden. And we'll go to end phase. Even with 1600 defense, we could actually still set this. Okay, so Pyramid Turtle goes up. We're going to get a Rose Token. Oh, the Haunted, getting back Laval Chain. We're going to get another Rose Token. Vampire Sorcerer is going to get Duke. We're going to get another Rose Token. Okay. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Why would you do that then? Another Evolve Chain. That is Lone Fire Blossom. Oh. Yeah, I'm really interested in that. Well, let's first go with Fragrant Storm. We will destroy you. We got into what I was hoping for. So... I could Lone Fire into something, and then Special Summon it back, and then Lone Fire and get it again. Then I can completely clear his field. But he'll still have a Vampire Sorcerer. And a Mizuki. Which is definitely a thing. I'm also just thinking of getting Ty uh, Titanial, Princess of Camellius. Uh, sack these two, set it. And the next turn, flip it for a 2,800 attack point monster. But part of me cannot resist Lone Fire into Lone Fire. So we can activate this. We can tribute Lone Fire Blossom. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get Talala, uh, Talaya, Princess of Cherry Blossoms. Then I can special summon Lone Fire Blossom again. Because it's only a soft once per turn, not a hard once per turn, I can do this again. This time I'm going to be getting Titanial. Wanna know what's the funny thing? Like, really funny. I'm going to attack here. 
So it's gonna go. I'm gonna gain. Yeah, I'm gonna be gaining a point there. Uh, activate the effect of a card. No, I'm not gonna activate the effect of a card. I'm gonna attack you for another one. We'll flip up Blossom Bombardment. 2,000, so yeah, it is in the graveyard. Then we're gonna attack here for another one, and then we can attack here for another one. At that point, main phase two. We can... We can use choice two. Destroy this. Damn it. Can't destroy it because of freaking Talia. Yeah, that was my fault. I was thinking of whether or not I could actually destroy Rose token, get another token, and then I could... Or get another counter and then spend those to uh, get something else. Yeah, that was my fault. Why would... Oh, yeah, that's right. And just to have fun, Seed Cannon. Hmm. Because if I can go about using Queen Angel of the Roses to basically force my opponent to... I, I don't have to go about suffering the uh, destroying effect. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll tribute you. Go to this. Attack you, destroy you. Yeah, that's fine. And here. Main phase two. Choice three. Yeah, Lone Fire Blossom. Gross token to our opponent's side. Then we can go for Giga Plant. Uh, we will put into defense position. Giving them another rose token. Back all sea cannon for 2,500. And yeah, end phase. What are you going to do on this board? <laughs> yeah, I don't think my opponent's really liking this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure either my opponent's really having a hard time thinking, or the game's going really slow. Yeah, I've only ever had this happen once before. Uh, 
Oh, it's almost like my opponent wants to go about uh, timing me out for a draw. Yeah, this isn't working very well. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just a straight-up flaw of the game itself. There it goes. I was afraid I was going to have to go about... Not finishing this, even though this is a really fun duel that we've had so far. And two fives going into Keeper of Armageddon. Interesting. Even then, what are you going to do? Yeah, because there's an, at this point in time, couldn't there's no way he could go through and uh, or Kamula could go through and target one of my cards because I could just get rid of Rose Token to uh, negate it. However. Let's see what I can actually do with this. It's only 2,000 I need in order to actually win this. Really have no idea what's the best way of doing this. Yeah, I really wish I was able to have enough uh i really wish i could equalize this to actually get a monster out of my graveyard but i can't because i could destroy all all lovely plant monsters which would include my opponent i think the best way of doing this is going and setting I want to keep the rose token up. Actually, wait, no. Stupid me. There was an easy way of doing this. Damn, I can't believe I just didn't see that. All I had to go about doing was um, using using uh, what was it Marina? Get rid of Talia. That's all I needed to do because at that point in time I could destroy plants with card effects. I could have destroyed Adreus, and I could have just ran over him. Not gonna lie, that's not the smartest I've had. That's not really not the smartest I've 
I've had so far. So, let's see. This is the other reason why World Tree is so good. One plant counter. You are going to gain some nice... Some <laughs> nice attack and defense. An easy way of going through and gaining life point. I mean, not life points, attack points while under Black Garden. Essentially, with the World Tree, that 400 attack points increase is as much as 800 normally. Yeah, that last game took quite a while, but I'm very proud of that. How it worked. Um, I'm still trying to get like a few different cards in here. But there really isn't much I can find myself wanting out of here anymore. I think there may be. There's probably. There's still five cards in here that I don't have. Is the big thing. I have basically all of. Um, Play sets of everything that I would need except the three major um, princess cards that I have. So I think there's this. There, I don't know if there's four or not. Judgment Dragon. Oh, that's going to be so much fun to use. An emergency teleport was another one I was actually thinking of using in, uh, if I make that Gusto deck, actually. Aroma Seraphy or Aroma Seraphy Rosemary. This Okay, so that's what I was missing for Aroma. Or Aromage anyway, was I was missing one hundred percent a I was just missing a uh synchro. Thing is, I was thinking about trying to get Queen of Thorns into this. So, each player must play 1,000 life points for each monster, normal, special summon from their hand, except for plant-type monsters. See, the I was thinking of very much of a burn-type deck. And Queen of Thorns, under Black Garden, is not easy to out. Especially when I have um, Talia. The thing is... All of, except for like, just Rose Paladin, I think that's the card. Every single card I have is a plant type monster. And that would allow me to get, uh, well, I don't have to go about paying anything in order to go and summon a monster, but my opponent has to go about placing, unless they're playing plants, has to pay a thousand for each monster, normal special summon from the hand. And then they're, they once they have played, they're going to turn into plant monsters. So that was one of the things I was thinking I could do, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep it that way. That was the one I was thinking of. Uh, Chirubime, Princess of Autumn Leaves. Your opponent cannot target face-up plant monsters for attacks, except this one. This card in in your possession is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card. You can special summon one plant monster from your deck, except Chirubime, Princess of Autumn Leaves. That was... I knew there was four of them. I knew there was four of them. Oh, well, we found all of the cards I wanted. Now we can probably throw that in for something. And, ooh, and premature burial. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. And we got a second one. Oh, that's just so much fun. So now I think we have at least two of each of them. Which definitely is very necessary. Dragon Queen of Tragic Endings. Wow, there's only one more card left in here that we don't have. A second Giga Plant, I only have one Giga Plant, which was uh, kind of making me sad, and also one Ceasefire. I'm glad I have both of those. 
Ah, uh, Soul Charge, I don't really care. Pretty sure that's forbidden anyway. And last one, what is it? Marina, okay, so I have three of those. Well, next time, I'm probably going to be making some more changes to this. There's probably going to be some... I'm 100% sure this is going to be a wonderful deck to go about playing. Um, 100%. I'm probably going to be taking one of these Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragons out, though. Though probably not, because even if I take down... If I go down to, like, um, shoot, like, even one of... I take one of both of these off, and I go in for some other uh, level 8s. I should still be able to do what I want. I don't really think I need more than one Giga Plant, because I can still get Giga Plant off a of World Tree. I don't know, I really like this deck. And it's probably my favorite uh, deck I've made in a while, outside of Twilight Judgment. AB, AB Cyber Dragon was nice. And to be honest, as much as I love my Counter Fairy deck, I've used it too much. And it's relatively simple uh, compared to Princess of Blackheart. So, with that being said, have a nice day, everybody.